Hi everyone. Today I'm going to walk you through the disassembly of the Ziltec all metal extruder system. Your extruder here is made up of the same basic components that most extruders are. You've got your fan guard, your fan, your heat sink, your extruder assembly, the motor NEMA 17, and your hot end. To begin, the first thing you're going to want is a Phillips screwdriver to take apart the fan unit. Once you remove the two screws that are attached, both the fan guard and the fan and the hot end and the heat sink will come right off. And you can see we're left with the extruder assembly and our hot end. To take apart the extruder assembly, we're going to start by removing the Phillips screw holding it to the motor. Now be careful as you assemble this as there is a spring here that does have tension on it. You don't want it to go flying. Here's the spring and the top part of the extruder assembly. We are now left with the bottom part of the extruder assembly, the drive gear, and still our hot end. The next step is going to be to remove the bottom half of the extruder assembly with the Phillips screwdriver. It's a small screw that comes out very quickly. And you can see now the entire extruder assembly, except for the drive gear, has been separated from our NEMA motor. To remove the drive gear, you're going to use a tiny Allen key, and you're going to take apart both of the set screws holding the Allen key in place. Be careful not to lose the small set screws as they are very tiny. The drive gear then comes right off of the NEMA 17 stepper motor. The last step is to remove the hot end assembly from your extruder assembly. To do this, you're going to want to use a pair of pliers set to the wide setting, clamping nice and gently and twisting on the extruder. All you're left with now is your hot end and the pieces of your extruder. And that is how you take apart the all-metal Ziltec extruder.